fade. <laughs> that would have been, been the most epic fade. The best fade of all that time. Been, you missed your Will Smith. You're right. Yeah, it would have been history. Yeah. But you are invited next year, but you'll be all right. I, I cannot act like he is on some host time for not firing on me in this situation because, like, of any situation in which we could ever see each other, this has got to be the number one most inappropriate situation. Maybe like a funeral or a church would be more inappropriate. But you got you got Cam Newton, you got Fat Joe, you got Cardi B. Wait up now. So I was halfway joking when I was calling Lush and Brick Baby cheerleaders and insects, but this basically confirms those theories. The way that they hover on to whatever Adam says, and they think cool enough to repeat, is disgusting for men who were once viewed in the public as men of some sort of honor for some sort of cause. I goose the more things change, the more they stay the same. And now Lush One and Brick Baby are men who live for the honor of no jumper and are working for the whatever cause Adam needs them to fulfill. In this case and in this clip, their missions are clear. Be the best cheerleading insects possible. Don't forget that Brick Baby just recently was chilling at the back on Fig Podcast and playing games like he was super cool with them. In my opinion, this is why Brick Baby is trying to balance things off with his insect cheerleading to try to show that he is still really loyal to whatever Adam wants. I won't be surprised if the Big Bad Neighborhood Watch member called up, asked, and waited for permission from Adam to go on back on Fig for that interview. Furthermore, what did Brick Baby mean by that would have been the worst situation to start getting it popping? I don't care no unnecessary and irrelevant violence, but my point is that Brick Baby already admitted that he wasn't invited and wasn't there. So why did he act like if Tyrell would have did something, he would have made sure it wouldn't happen. It sounds like Brick Baby is cheerleading so hard that he actually thinks that Adam is untouchable and that everyone puts Adam on that zesty pedestal that Brick Baby has him on. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure Brick Baby has a shrine as well. In my opinion, Brick Baby has a shrine in his bathroom full of Adam facial expressions that he stares at while he brushes his teeth every day. One last thing here, for this to be a platform that Adam wants to call a hip-hop platform, I want everyone to pay attention and replay it if you have to. How Adam mentions that Cam Newton, Fat Joe and Cardi B was there at the event. If he had access to these three celebrities that are big deals in the world and culture of hip hop, why is he choosing to tell us this dry and stale story about a very short interaction with a group of people that would most likely not even take a sharp drink on you if you were on fire? Hey Sharp, sorry for that stray shot you had to take. But since I seen you recently defending Adam and this pop smoke situation, I think it's only right for you to catch a Dijon stray every now and then. Okay, let's see what's next for the blazing podcast all about hip hop, but ignores hip hop to focus on the gossip.